Hey, this is Craig from GigFest, and today we're going to answer the question, do you really need a record deal? Look, make sure you subscribe below, hit the bell notification so you get notifications for new videos every Wednesday, every Friday. If you need to hit me up, hit me on Instagram at TheCraigKelly. Make sure you follow me there. Follow GigFaster on Instagram and check us out on Facebook, man. We're everywhere. And it's really me spreading myself thin. <laughs> so I really like to connect with you guys. So it's cool. Thanks for watching right now. And like the best way, let's say, do you really need a record label? Do you really need a recording contract? I mean, it's like been that carrot at the end of the rope, you know, at the end of the pole for like so many people for so long. Like that's all I was chasing for so long and looking back in 20 plus years and a thousand plus gigs booked playing for grammy artists and grammy nominated artists and touring europe it, it's just i think man if i could redo this if i could talk to somebody like myself you know just years back what would i do differently what do you really need a record label do you, you or what's the purpose of that you know D are they even relevant anymore well the truth is record labels are relevant as as a even though i know it's so easy to get on that bandwagon saying ah screw record label screw record label. they still have power that people they they ignore they act like they don't but you know what this is the thing it's like any business look they might be struggling a little bit, not making as much money as they used to, or not have as much control as they used to, but they still have some major resources. If they need money, if they need to promote something, they have it. If they are going to book a tour, they can do it. So there is value in record labels, especially the ones that are still out there like killing it and I'm, I'm saying like you know they've struggled but guess what every business struggles most like i don't know it's like every three minutes a business fails like within the first five years eight out of ten businesses fail like like you know that's just life that's just the way it is but these guys have been around for a long time now what has changed as an independent artist you have the opportunity to do a lot of the stuff yourself now and you can do it well matter of fact like you have the tools and the know-how to be able to promote yourself even better than them. And I've said that for years too. Like people don't realize that it's like, look, who's better to sell your product? Your, what's your product? Well, it's you, your band, your whole, your image, your music, all it's the whole package. You are the best person to sell it because you know it more intimately than anybody. You look for somebody else that has like some secret or something, but really, you know more about yourself than anybody. They might be able to put a different, uh, a, you know, a different hook on you than somebody else. I mean, than you, you do, you know, a different pitch than you are. But ultimately, you're the you're the one that knows your music. You know what your your movement is trying to sell. You know what you're trying to do. Who you're trying to reach, and you just haven't thought about it that much. I mean, you know it. You just haven't written it down. You haven't you haven't just put a plan in place like you really need. So, do you really need a record deal? No, you don't need a record deal. It would definitely help you, but you really don't need one. You need a plan. And the Musician Survival Kit is perfect in a pandemic or any downtime really so that you can get that plan in place module five is the action plan it get tell, gives you a checklist of really the things you need to be doing so that you're constantly moving up the ladder as an artist you're building your fans you're you know you're connecting with venues and getting more gigs you, your foundation is set the way it really needs to be it's on a solid rock foundation it's not just like oh here there whatever you know you're building it properly and you're taking the steps you need to take now this is the thing like a lot of people think that oh i get signed a record label to do everything for me but the the truth is all they do is amplify what you've already done so they talk about people it's like hey i wonder what that guy would be like if he was rich it's like well what's he like right now as a poor person uh, he's a freaking idiot well guess what 
he's just going to be a bigger idiot. He's going to be, everybody's going to know it, <laughs> you know, when he's rich. It's the same way as an artist. So like, what are you doing now? Are you attracting fans? Are you, you know, you have a, a solid um, schedule playing? Are you releasing material like you should? Are you connecting with the fans like you should? Are you updating your Facebook? Are you updating your Instagram? You know, are you really just doing it? Because a lot of people who want record labels to do everything for them think that they're not going to have to do anything. They think they're just going to be a pawn and the record label is going to say, yeah, do this, go here, go that. Well, they might, you know, but really it's just going to be a lot more of what you've already been doing yourself. So you start this business yourself as an artist, as a band, and then you can move up to a record label taking it to the next level that they have connections that you're not going to have. So they can take it to the next level. But really, do you need a record label right now? No, you just need to get off your butt and you need to start working, man. Putting some sweat into it. Sweat equity. It doesn't cost you anything most of the time to do these things, man. But this is how you get stuff done. Uh, there's a guy, oh, I forget his name, Chet. He's, 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 he, 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 he's not around anymore, but like, you know, he, he died actually pretty young, but he was a brilliant marketer and he just, he was kind of like me, like he could use the day and every hour in it and just get a lot of stuff done. People are like, how do you get so many things done, man? How do you do all these things? Well, this is the thing. I don't do it all at once. You know, I take five minutes. I take an hour and do it here. Okay, and then next day, I'm like, you know what? I know I have this huge project I have to do. So it's like, all right, every day, I'm just going to spend like an hour doing it. And man, the end of a month, you're like, holy smoke. I can't believe like you look at it. It's like, wow, I really completed all of that because I just took a little bit of time here and there. It all added up. So that's what you need to do. You don't have to do this all in one day. Look, just spend half an hour a day an hour a week, you know, like don't overwhelm yourself. Just get on a schedule and start doing it. And before you know it, you know, you're gonna be like, wow, look what I built six months from now. It's just like, holy smokes. And it was maintainable. Most people don't stay on a diet that long because they go all oh, in. And then also it's like, oh, I can't do this. Can't do this. Yeah. And they die out, you know, same way with my exercise program. Look, I don't kill myself. I work out three times a week and it's not even that long. And I, I eat consistently. And it's just like, I make it so that I, it's a lifestyle I can maintain and enjoy. So it's the same way with music, man. Start, put a schedule out so that you can do it once a week, have three times a week. This is pretend it's an exercise program. Do it three times a week. Reach out to fans. Reach out to venues. Look at your electronic press. Get, get the foundation there. Start building up your momentum. And, you know, whenever the time comes and you're ready for that record label, you're going to have more than one and interested in you. And they're going to take you to the next level. But at this point, you don't need one. You need to do it yourself. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure you subscribe below. Hit the notification for new videos every Wednesday, every Friday. And hit me up on Instagram if you have any questions at the Craig Kelly. That's T H E Craig Kelly with an E Y. And we also have the Gig Faster account that really doesn't get used that much, but you know, we build it up. Yeah, we might. So remember, if you want to succeed, never quit. And if you want some free training, go to gigfasteruniversity.com. I'll catch you next time.